How we doing, everybody? Listen, today I'm annoyed. I'm pissed off because Mark Munoz, one of the nicest guys that you could ever meet, has lost his job. Yes, lost his job as a wrestling coach. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Mark Munoz placed on admin leave from his high school job after letting kids box each other. So the story goes, Mark Munoz, former UFC fighter who beat Damian Meyer in 2011, has been placed on administrative leave from his high school wrestling coach job after he let quarreling students box each other. Uh, according to sources close to Munoz, two students got into an argument on the playground and then went to Munoz, who we're told was not made aware of the tiff, to ask if they could put on boxing gloves and settle things. The 44-year-old, per sources, allowed the scrap to happen, but we're told the ex-UFC fighter believed that the impromptu boxing match was more jovial than violent. We're told, however, one of the boy's parents was outraged about the scrap and went to the administration over it all. Oh, bless. A school spokesman declined to get into the specifics of the allegations, but did confirm that the coach had been placed on administrative leave through the end of the school year and will not have his contract picked up once it ends. He will not return to campus. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. We'll get into this in a minute. But there's now there's a statement from Mark Munoz here. With every ounce of who I am, I desire to be a positive influence on kids, to teach kids to be the very best wrestlers, to speak loudly against bullying and to honor Lord Jesus Christ. There are thousands of wrestlers who I have coached that would affirm those truths from first-hand experience under no circumstances would I encourage kids to settle a dispute through fighting, right? And what does the school do in this pussified day and age? Because it is absolutely ridiculous the pussification of the entire world they fire the man this is a guy that's a good guy a guy that is respected by the community a guy that gives back i see mark muno sometimes with his son who's an incredible wrestler by the way callum's a wrestler i would see see them at tournaments and you can just see People hold Mark Munoz in such high regard, and rightly so. One of the nicest guys you will ever meet. Had a great career in the UFC. Won a few, lost a few, but had some tremendous wins along the way. I was actually linked to him. We were supposed to fight at the Manchester Evening News Arena in Manchester, England in 2013 before I had my eye injury. Okay, now... I, in my career, used to talk a little bit of shit about Mark. I used to talk shit about everyone that would be my potential opponent. That's just, that was my style, you know, stir the pot a little bit, you know. Why not? Makes it more entertaining. But Mark knew this. Mark knew this was just me messing around. And I remember he reached out to me because his gym, Rain Training Center, wasn't too far away from where I live here in Orange County. What a guy. As I was still an active middleweight and he was an active middleweight, he sends me an invitation to train at his gym. It was after I got out wrestled by Tim Kennedy. He's like, Mike, I can teach you a few things. I can show you a few things. That just speaks volumes as to what kind of guy this is. Right, now, all that aside, Mark's the man, Mark's great. Did not deserve to lose his job. Let's talk about the specifics. These two young boys, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about the situation. I know what you can find online, okay? Maybe it was a joke. Maybe it was jovial. Maybe they hated one another. Maybe Mark knew. Maybe Mark didn't know. None of that is relevant, okay? These two kids at high school, so if you're not living in America, that's from 14 to 18 years old. They are young men. If they've got a problem, if they've got beef, the best way to take care of that is to put the boxing gloves on fight it out, get it out of your system, shake hands, hug, squash the beef and go your separate ways. Because if they didn't do that, there's a good potential that they're going to fight on the street. And then there's a higher risk that somebody gets hurt. Somebody falls over, gets punched, bangs their head on the concrete, something like that. Mark Munoz in a controlled environment who's already their wrestling coach, that they respect greatly, that has a facility with mats on the ground. Okay, all right, put the boxing gloves on, get it out of your system, punch to the body, a couple of punches. Mark's going to break it up. No one's going to get hurt. No one's going to get knocked out. Do you know what I mean? They are young boys. This is what they do. In England, boxing was taught in schools up until the 1960s. You know, it is a great pastime or a great exercise, a great way for for men to work out that aggression. For young men that have just got so much testosterone going through them, 
this is the perfect scenario, in my opinion. That is the best thing. If they want to fight so badly, then geez louise, let them do it in a controlled environment. But of course, of course, the Karen of a parent had to find out. Guarantee it was the mother or the father. Who knows? I shouldn't have said that. But good chance it was the mother that didn't want little Timmy getting hurt. Oh, well, he's wrestling. It's the hardest part of mixed martial arts. I'll tell you that right now. I only started wrestling because of my mixed martial arts career. Okay, and most of the injuries that I have, other than my eye, all come from wrestling. My son, Callum, he's on a wrestling scholarship at San Francisco State University. Well done, son. He only started wrestling as a freshman, okay? He's already had about four surgeries. He has no meniscus. He had that removed. He's had a torn ACL. He ripped his tricep off his bone completely, and it was all bunched up in his shoulder up here. I had to have that reattached. It was a big surgery. The point I'm saying is wrestling is the hardest part of mixed martial arts. It's a tough sport with a lot of impact and a lot of injuries, okay? So you're complaining because your sons had a little boxing match, a little sparring match to settle their differences. What would you have preferred? That the two kids have a full-on fist fight? In the middle of the playground or the yard, whatever you call it in America, in England we call it a playground, and I would have many fights in the playground. But what would you prefer? That the, the young men, the boys, the immature young men, have a full on fist fight in the playground, in the yard, do real damage without gloves, cut each other open, someone hits the head, someone has to go to the hospital, maybe one of those children gets expelled from the high school, doesn't get to go to college. Is that what you prefer? Because I guarantee you right now that those two young men, right, they were going to fight. If they had a real problem, let's say there's a girl involved or whatever, they will find a way to fight. So Mark Munoz taking them into the gym and fighting like that under a controlled environment with boxing gloves on to minimize the damage and to let them work out their differences, that is the best way. That is the best way for it. And now Mark Munoz has lost his job over it. I mean, it's unbelievable. I think I talked about it at the start of the video. It's hard for fighters. It's hard for athletes to make a go of it after your athletic career. Mark Munoz, God bless him, was doing well. He was a high school wrestling coach. And because of this, because of the pussification of the world, the man has to lose his job. It's, I, I'm, it's ridiculous. The high school should be ashamed of themselves. But, but they, well, no, they shouldn't. Because I understand they're under so much pressure. Because the world these days, you blink at somebody wrong. And you're in trouble. You can't speak to anybody, right? Because that's not the correct thing to do. In the UK, they're trying to stop people from stirring. They're trying to make stirring at somebody a criminal offence because it might make people feel uncomfortable. Granted, if you're staring at a woman and you're being a pervert and all the rest of it, yeah, you need to slap around the face. But come on, where, where, where is this well going? When I was a kid, right, Sadly, I had a lot of fights. When I would get into a fight, the police would come over. They go, right, they break it up. They say, right, you go that way, you go that way. And if I see you two again fighting, that's it. You're both going to the nick. You're both getting arrested. These days, Jesus Christ, as I say, you blink at someone, you've got a lawsuit on your hands. I mean, Mark, if you see this, uh, I feel your pain. I'm sorry that this happened to you. No doubt you'll get picked up by another school pretty soon because you're an incredible wrestling coach. You have the respect of the wrestling community, the mixed martial arts community, and the respect of me because you're one of the nicest human beings that I've ever met. And I'm, yeah, I'm furious. I'm furious that a nice man has had to lose his job over this. It's bullshit. Anyway, take care. All the best.